Hi, I'm Tangles. This is my garage, and this is my car. So I figured I'd show you how to pull the fuel pump out. Um, these two plugs here and here, just under them. Uh, this should be screwed in. Mine isn't, or wasn't. Uh, no real biggie for me. Yeah, under our three hose clamps, we've got one that's screwed. One that's a screw type clamp. How much thread? I've got plenty of thread. Come on, get it now. Yeah, this should be enough. Apparently it's not. Get onto it in there. That's okay. We have tools for that. Let's see if I can just break the seal. There we go. And I guess that's the return line. So this line is not the return line. There's an arrow there pointing out. That's obviously line out. The return line will be the one there with the arrow pointing in. Uh, and which would make that one a breather, I believe. So let's get this one out. Again, we just crack the seal. Got a damage hose. Wow, that's tight. Okay, so now we gotta get this undone. <laughs> Probably be easier for me on the back seat. <sighs> That's tight. So I've tried everything to try and get that undone um, without resorting to something like this, but I uh, have just cracked it just gently, the bar against one of these ribs, and a gentle tap. It's got it moving. Can't get grip on it, so gently, carefully, just gently tap it out. It's still very hard, so I'm gonna keep going like this. It's a bit easier now. Is out of the way. Alright. It's not coming.
coming out. What's going on here? That's the fuel gauge. Yeah, there's the pump. Why the hell was that so difficult? I don't know. I don't remember seeing that you needed to pull the fuel gauge out to get this out. But they were, it was all entwined, so. Alright, now to determine whether or not that fuel pump is the right type. For my purposes, it should be as simple as finding a part number. Should be, in theory. Nothing's ever that simple in real life. So, it was a bit of a mission, but uh, you know, a little bit of persistence. I've got the fuel pump. I've got the part number here. I'm gonna just double check it. Make sure it is what he says it is. It is Walbro, so I'm probably inclined to believe it is uh, whatever size it was. I can't remember what it was that he said. But I remember at the time it was big enough for making the power levels that those injectors are capable of you know, producing, so. Or supporting so that should be fine I'll just double check well <clears throat> as you can see this is all reassembled it's all back in um, I didn't film any of the actual putting it back in none of it was in there properly which is why it all sort of come out as a bit of a clusterfuck um, <clears throat> uh, there's two plugs on the underside of that cap you should undo to help with leaving the um, fuel level sender behind but it had fallen off basically and so the fuel pump the fuel pump wasn't mounted correctly either it was just fucking floating around in there so yeah good job i pulled it all out it's all now <coughs> mounted correctly in there uh so i didn't film any of messing around to make it all work because most of it was just me screaming at it and swearing and threatening to burn the car down because that whole <coughs> is about the same size as my arm in diameter so once you've got the hoses and all the other stuff in there it's pretty tight <clears throat> very difficult I also had three quarters of a tank of fuel so I've been breathing in fuel vapor for the last hour um, it's not been pleasant it's been probably one of the worst jobs of all time not helped by the angle of attack that you're at over here either and fitting that stuff wouldn't help being able to get in through the back seat because it's sort of all angled down that way anyway for access from here um, the job is done, the fuel pump is a <coughs> Walbro <coughs> uh, GSS 342 which is a 255 litre per hour pump good for the hypothetical 500 horsepower number um, yeah so and it's <coughs> in theory it's, it's okay for ethanol 
so that's that's that. Uh, she's she's ready for ethanol. Um, whether or not I leave the ECU in it or put a boost pressure regulator in it, tune it. I don't know. I don't know yet. Don't know what I'm <coughs> going to do ultimately for power, but I can confirm that the fuel pump's okay for ethanol. And yeah, so I'll just put the plate back on it. Even that's not going to work for me. There you go. I'll screw that in in a second. Um, yeah, bastard of a job. I hated every minute of it. It was incredibly painful and difficult. Um, probably be easier to actually drop the fuel tank if the rear subframe wasn't in the way. So yeah. Uh, screw you Nissan for designing that fuel tank position. Uh, the 32s don't have that problem. They're, theirs is in the bottom of the boot. So yeah. I don't know why they went to that design. I suppose not many people go into the fuel tank often so hopefully my fuel pump never fails and all that works and I haven't broken something otherwise I'd be pissed if I could go back in there alright uh, moving on